Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a review and demo for you guys, and it's gonna be on the ever so popular Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation, and it looks like this. I've had this for a while now, and I'm actually down to the very bottom, and I actually had to scrape some foundation out of here just to be able to do this demo for you guys. Um, but since I used the whole entire bottle, I thought I would do a review and give you guys my thoughts on it just because it is an expensive foundation, and I'm sure a lot of you want to know if it's even good before you shell out. I think it's $62 for this foundation. So before we get into this video, I do want to mention that I did not pay full price for this foundation. I'm not sure if I ever would. The only reason I bought this foundation was because I was working at L'Oreal at the time. And if you didn't know, Armani is a L'Oreal owned brand. So I did get 50% off of all L'Oreal branded products. So I got this foundation for around $30, which is an awesome deal for this foundation. That's just like buying like a Mac or any other regular foundation from Sephora. So that is literally the only reason that I have this foundation. I don't think I would ever pay that much money for a foundation. I just honestly can't justify spending $62 on something that's gonna go within a few months. So yeah, I use this sporadically. I've had it for about probably six months now and I used it sporadically. So I did not use this every day and I will get into why once I start telling you guys my thoughts on the foundation. So it did last me a while because I didn't use it that often. So I guess we all just go ahead and jump into the review. I will go ahead and roll the demo footage while I kind of give you guys my thoughts on the foundation. So to start off, I have mine in the shade 5.75. I did a lot of research before I actually purchased this because I wanted to make sure I got the correct shade for my skin tone. So I did a lot of um, searching on Google and stuff, trying to find out what shade would match me the best based on what shade I am in MAC foundations and other foundations that I typically wear on a daily basis. So 5.75 seemed to be the best fit for my skin tone. And I guess we will start off with the positives on this foundation. So it does give really great coverage as you can see from the demo. Um, I have a lot of acne scarring on my face, on my cheeks, on both sides, and it covers it within one layer of foundation. Um, now I was using this foundation when I was dealing with my really severe cystic acne and it seemed to cover everything just fine. Um, so that is a plus is the coverage. It has really great coverage. I would say it's medium to full. You can definitely build it up to be a full coverage foundation, but I typically just wore one layer, maybe a tiny bit more on the areas that I had some acne. Another positive I would say about this foundation is the finish of it. So I wouldn't say that it's quite a dewy finish on me because I do set with a powder, but it's not exactly a matte foundation either. So I would say it's a good middle point between matte and dewy. And even after setting it with a powder, it still feels really light and airy on the skin. It doesn't feel too heavy at all like some of my other foundations can feel on my skin, especially when I was dealing with my acne and I was kind of piling on a little more foundation. It never really felt heavy, which I really loved. So it is great for an everyday foundation. So that's all I can really think of for the positives of it. Um, now we'll get into why I didn't really use it every day and why I didn't seem to love this foundation. So this is one of those products that I will wear it for a few days and I will absolutely love it. But after those few days, I will just start hating it. And I don't know why, like I can't exactly pinpoint why, but I would love it for a few days and I would wear it. But then after the few days, I'll be like, oh, I hate this foundation and I would stop wearing it. And then I would stop wearing it for about two, three weeks and then I would pull it out again and I would be like, oh my gosh, why did I ever put this away? This is such an amazing foundation. And it was just a cycle like that for about the six months that I've had it. And even today, when I was applying this foundation, I was like, wow, this looks so great on my skin. But I know after a few days, it's gonna be just go back in my drawer and I won't be using it anymore. I think that one thing that kind of turned me off about this was I feel like it kind of gives me a grayish cast on my face. Um, after I've been wearing it for a while. Right now, you can't really tell, and I think it looks great on camera, and it wears really well with all my lights and everything, but throughout the day, I feel like it just makes my face look really weird and gray, sometimes kind of yellowish. That probably doesn't even make sense, but it just 
gives my face a weird tint throughout the day as I'm wearing it and I hate that and I can't stand it. That is a huge factor as to why I kind of shied away from this foundation. Um, I, I absolutely love it for the first few hours of wear but after that it just doesn't look good, I don't think. And maybe it's just my skin tone or the formulation of my skin or the chemicals or the pH of my body or, or some science stuff, but I don't know. For some reason, this foundation just doesn't work for me. So overall, I would not repurchase this foundation. I know some people are completely obsessed with it and they swear by this foundation, um, but this is just my experience with it and I would not recommend spending $62 on something that I don't absolutely love. Like I really have to love a foundation to spend that much money on it. So that is pretty much the only con that I have to this foundation. Um, that is a pretty big con, but other than that, it's a, I mean, it's a good foundation. I don't tend to get oily throughout the day when I'm wearing it. Um, it doesn't break up on my face. It lasts through my workout, so it is a long wearing foundation. Just the grayish cast on my face is really a major downfall for me in this foundation. And if it didn't have that, I think I would honestly be obsessed with it. And I would love it because as you can see, like at least right now, it looks great on the skin. Um, so if it didn't do that, I would maybe consider repurchasing it. Probably not, but maybe I would think about it, you know? So if you guys love this foundation, please don't think I'm bashing it in any way. I'm just sharing my experience with you guys just in case you might have the same experience with this foundation. So that is pretty much all I have to say about this product. I know this was a super quick review, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know of any other videos you would like to see in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!